Hello dear friends, this one is a super high resolution. I'm so <laughs> intimidated by it. <clears throat> So today I wear something yellowish, brownish, and uh, just uh, as simple, as comfortable as, as it gets. And uh, I am sorting out the things. New Year has come. And, uh, take a few minutes to see my city. I am planning to do something with my city, city of Mountain View. And, uh, just enjoy some of this scenery. It makes me happy. And uh, it's been a long time. We didn't walk through the city and, uh, and look on our streets. <clears throat> it's kind of a disrespecting of the beauty and uh, let the beauty, let the beauty be there and not taking time to appreciate. So a few more minutes will not uh, will not be the end of the world if we waste it, right? And the other day, I'm making the story of uh, <coughs> of the big lazy Dalan and the Qin Qin, the big lazy. And then I talked to my friend, and she was uh, also thinking of something just as funny and uh, she was thinking um, it is so important to waste time the time wasted on ourselves is um, is the way is the time to find our own self you can you can think it in many, many ways, but uh, it's a quite a, a philosophical thought. Without wasting time, the so-called wasting time, we will not be able to, to give ourselves time and thoughts and to think about ourselves and uh, only when we allow ourselves to be free to be idly to be to be uh, free from Guilty, guilt, to be, to be released from the boundary. Only when all this um, freedom is unleashed, can we find our very self. And. Uh, it is, uh, I don't know whether it's important or not to find ourselves, but uh, at least um, we deserve to find ourselves and to live a life the way we want to and the way we plan to do and the way we intend to do. And. Um, and not manipulated by so many so many other things so
so many other people and uh, so much so many material things and uh, so nature is just like this it does not pretend to be beautiful and uh, it does not have to be beautiful or not it is there it is the way it likes to be you accept it and uh, and uh, and um, be part of it and when nature is relaxed is not tightened up you feel relaxed true relaxation so often time we went to a beautiful manicured uh, the garden or <clears throat> very well managed and very very hard worked garden we feel we feel graceful we feel elegant we feel we feel beautiful but we may not necessarily feel so relaxed because uh, too much energy has spent into it and uh, it has too much burden too much things in it and uh, it lost its natural naturalness its uh, natural in essence of just <coughs> being relaxed being natural being being original, being non-pretentious, and being the way it wanted to be. So I am, I am happy here, and uh, I am not important. The garden is not important. Nobody is important. Nothing is important. We just uh, harmoniously coexist. And um, I do not care about this place. This place do not care about me. I hope you understand what I mean, care or not care, in the sense I intend to be. It's just a very, very natural, very not loaded not uh, <clears throat> not uh, nothing supposed and, uh, nothing intended and nothing heavy nothing nothing scary and, uh, i am just uh, happy to be there to be here So in different time, in different phase of our life, of our life, we need different kind of energy, inspiration, or we need all kinds of inspiration, but uh, something that just strike a chord with in us. And at this moment, I just feel this place is so, it's so right. For me, it's just so. By accident, so. <clears throat> so. Um, so welcoming me. Look at the flower. Magnolia is 
opening up. I think this is a special kind of magnolia. Always like this beautiful flower. And it's already a little bit over the season actually. With many, many, many paddocks. And here is a, a big magnolia with vacuum sound or heating sound. and the free flow. I am so lucky to see you. Glad to meet you, flower. Hello. 